Okay, so here's your typical six pin PCIe, right, without the extra two. The extra two is why we call this a six plus two. We don't typically call it an eight pin. There are some where this part doesn't split off like this and you can call them an eight pin and that's perfectly fine because this part, if you were to order it from a connector supplier without this breaking off, is called an eight pin, so that's fair. But if you look at where the plus two here goes, they're not conductors. They go back into the six pin connector and they short to existing grounds. So they actually do not resist, uh, they don't reduce any resistance. They're not carrying any power. All they are doing, they're called sense pins, but not sense pins like the way I described in my last video, but sense pins in the sense that the graphics card looks to see if these two pins are present and then knows that it's safe to ask up to 150 watts from the conductors, from the power connector. Not because the connector can't support more than 75 watts of power, but to ensure that the power supply can support up to 75 watts or with this added up to 150 watts to the graphics card. It has nothing to do with the cable. It has everything to do with what the graphics card needs and what the power supply is capable of supplying. This is where everybody gets confused. Everybody. Okay, not everybody, but you know, it seems like everybody because whenever you go on social media, it's like, oh my God, it's only just 150 miles. Ah! Okay, so anyway, so there you go. And I will prove that this little add-on here doesn't actually um, allow more power to be delivered because I'm going to take this cable, I'm going to plug it into the sun moon, and I'm going to put a 150 watt load on this. I'm going to put a 150 watt load on all of this together, right? And we're going to see if the addition of this um, allows it to deliver power better. And the way you know that is you shouldn't see a voltage drop, right? Because if you had six conductors versus eight conductors, which this is not, okay, your voltage should drop less because you have two additional conductors to support more power. But instead, you have six conductors and two sense pins, okay? So let's go ahead and move on over to the sun moon and I will show you how that works. Okay, I am back at the sun moon and this time I'm zoomed way in so you can see the uh, voltage on connector VJ and down here, connector VJ is plugged in with the six plus two. So there's your six conductors and your two cents. So the goal here is that we're gonna see that these sense wires don't do anything that actually help the power supply deliver additional power to the load because this voltage here should not change. If these two connectors were act, if these two pins rather were actual conductors, then they would help to deliver power to the load. And by disconnecting them, we should see this voltage drop. So let's get a run through of the test setup here. I only have one rail loaded on the power supply right now. It's 12 and a half amps, which if we were at 12 volt dead center, um, that would be 150 watts, but of course, again, since the voltage is 11.93, it's going to be slightly below at 149.1, okay? So that's the voltage at our load. Uh, if you need to know, the voltage at the power supply is actually 12.06. I still have my multimeter plugged into the power supply. Okay, so here we go. So we got 11.93 volts. I'm going to pull out these two sense pins from the side while it's running. And... 11.93 with the sense pins not plugged in. So it did drop a little bit because, see that? If I pull on the whole connector, I'm pulling the terminal slightly out. So even though the connector's engaged, the terminals aren't fully engaged, but I plug them in there. 11.93. See? And if I pull, plug these back in, you would think that the voltage would go up but they won't because this is not a conductor. They're just sense pins. And once again, we are at 11.93. Um, by the way, sorry about the flashing. I am not seeing this flashing here, uh, but you're seeing it in the video because the refresh rate f for, the, uh, for the liquid crystal display on the low tester uh, is, a, is a different frame rate than the video capture. So anyway, so there you go. So just to tantalize your frontal lobe, um, I want you to think about it this way. If you're still stuck on six pins or 75 watts, eight pins or 150 watts, how in the world 
do you magically double the capability of a connector by simply adding two pins, right? 75 watts versus 150 watts because 75 watts and 150 watts are not a specification of the cable, the connector, the terminals, etc. That is a specification from PCI SIG for the graphics card on what to expect from the power supply. That's it. So people need to stop saying that an 8 pin or 6 plus 2 pin PCIe can only do 150 watts. In fact, let's play something here. So I got 12.5, let's double that sucker. 25 amps, 11.85 volts, that's almost 300 watts on a single 8 pin connector. And look at that, well within spec. That's a lot of power, right? And the connector doesn't really care because it doesn't matter. And hey, just for good measure, let's pull those sense pins out. Oh my gosh, he disconnected the sense pins. How is it possible that it's still delivering that much power? Isn't that rated at 75, 75 watts? This terminal's getting really worn out. <laughs> That's the other thing too. You see how the voltage changes as I wiggle it? These things are only good for plugging and unplugging so many times. And this poor power supply has been around since 2019. So yeah, I think it's about time I, I retire and get a new one. But you know, old faithful and all that. All right, thanks for watching.